Hey love, welcome to another episode of the Fulfillment Factor podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Sherelle, and I'm really glad to have you here today. It's another opportunity for us to learn and grow together on this journey. I'm all about restoring the busy woman and helping her get back to her dreams. I'm adamant about helping women shift from positioning themselves to be of service to everyone else except themselves. So, If you are a busy woman who needs to figure out ways to prioritize yourself, find fulfillment, and put your personal goals and dreams back at the forefront of your life, then go ahead and hit subscribe because I want you here for every episode of this. I want us to learn and grow together. I'm not sure how you got here, whether someone shared this podcast with you, you stumbled upon it or whatever. I'm just glad you're here and I hope you'll stay. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. Come right on in. My promise to you is that every episode will be 10 minutes or less because you should not have to sacrifice self-care for the sake of time. And today we're talking about giving birth. I read a quote. Um, earlier this week um, by Eric Fromm and the quote says man's main task is to give birth to himself to become what he potentially is I'm gonna run that thing back one more time man's main task is to give birth to himself to become what he potentially is In my book, The Fulfillment Factor, I share about how we grow conditioned to always chase becoming something, when in reality, life is a lot more about unbecoming who and what we thought we had to be. When you think about it, when you consider the physical birth of a baby, they are unbecoming being just eggs, unbecoming just being an embryo unbecoming just being a fetus in that same way you are unbecoming the things your parents and family and your workplace or business made you feel like were mandatory for you to be enough you are releasing the chase after what your friends and colleagues made you believe was crucial to your happiness and your success you are untangling the webs of attachment to people, places, things, habits that you were led to believe were necessary for you to evolve into who you're called to be. So today I want to share a simple five-part framework that you can use to approach life and induce birth into who you are called to be. So the acronym is BIRTH, B, believe for more. Believe for better, believe for bigger. You have to believe it exists for you. You have to believe that it's accessible to you. You have to believe that it is attainable for you. More, better, bigger, believe in all of those. I, investigate who and what you need to support you on your journey. It was never designed for you to do it alone. It never was. Even in the birthing room, it's never just the mom alone. There's always someone there to support the birthing process. Give yourself that same grace as you evolve your life, as you evolve your business. Investigate who and what you need to support you on your journey. R. Respect your gifts and don't discredit the massive value they deliver. Respect your gifts. It doesn't matter how small it seems to you. It may be simple to you, but for the people you're called to serve, the lives you are led to transform, your simple is their significant. T, take each step with grace and gratitude. Take each step with grace and gratitude. Give yourself grace to not have it all figured out. Give yourself grace to not know exactly how it's going to end, except that you believe for more, that you believe for better, you believe for bigger. Give yourself grace to mess up sometimes. 
and operate from a space of gratitude. You have so much to be thankful for. There are so many other people who have not even been awakened to the fact that they're called to do more. Embrace the fact that you have awakened. And H, honor the time you have because you don't know how much of it you have. And you definitely don't know how much time the people you're called to serve have either. So honor the time you have and do as much as you can with it. I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you an extra push to get you through the week. Get what you need from this and share the rest with someone else. Now, if you are a high-achieving woman who has been wrestling with knowing that there just has to be more to life than this, you feel stuck, lost, and don't know what to do next, and you're tired of second-guessing yourself and letting it hold you back from living out your purpose in a big way, just go to BrittanySherelle.com or click the link in the show notes to schedule your breakthrough discovery session today so that you can gain crystal clear clarity around where you are in life, where you want to be in life, and a step-by-step plan to get you there. Don't waste another moment going through the motions, feeling guilty about knowing you're called to do more in life, and feeling confused about how to make sense of it all. Go to BrittanySherelle.com to get unstuck and achieve your biggest goals fast. And until next time, girl, get back to your dreams.